So here's example two of the predicting precipitation uh, topic. I will move through this one much more quickly. I always work slower through example one and more quickly through example two. So first we have potassium sulfide, a solution of potassium sulfide reacting with a solution of copper two chloride or mixed with a solution of copper two chloride. So we have K2S, uh, potassium sulfide. This is, a, this is a solution, and we have copper to chloride, also a solution. Let's predict our products. Well, our products would be potassium chloride and copper to sulfide. So those are our two products and the correct chemical formula. I took the cation here, combine it with the anion here, and I took the cation here, combine it with the anion there. I just swapped cation and anion. Let's check the solubility for potassium chloride, KCl. It is soluble, so I need to write aqueous here. Copper sulfide, copper 2 plus sulfide, Cu2 plus sulfide. Uh, I see that copper 2 sulfide is insoluble. It actually precipitates out of solution. So I need to indicate that. So I do have a precipitate and its empirical formula is CuS. What about potassium sulfide and silver nitrate as two reacting solutions? So K2S plus silver nitrate. This will be AgNO3. This is a solution. And that is a solution. What are my products? Take the cation, combine it with this anion. So I get potassium nitrate. And I know that all nitrates are soluble. So I can go ahead and put an AQ there, soluble in water. And then I take this cation and combine it with that anion. I get silver sulfide. Let's check silver sulfide. Silver plus one, sulfide here. Silver sulfide is insoluble in water. So I need to put an S here. There is my precipitate. Yes, Ag2S. The third one is a solution of zinc sulfate. Zinc will be two plus, sulfate is two minus. So there is the chemical formula and potassium hydroxide, KOH. It's also a solution. My products would be zinc hydroxide and potassium sulfate. So I have zinc hydroxide and potassium sulfate. Let's check the solubility of our products. Zinc here it is, two plus charge. Hydroxide is here. So it looks like zinc hydroxide is insoluble. It's a precipitate. Potassium sulfate, here's potassium. There's sulfate. Come across, it is soluble. So it remains dissolved. But I do have a precipitate formed when I mix these two solutions and so I will mark yes here and it would be ZnOH2.